Hello everyone, welcome to Quantsap. My name is Prasanna, and today we are discussing about one interesting data point, which is based on the sentiment of the market. So, if I'm talking about the sentiment of the market, so generally we'll track multiple things, right? We track the open interest, and generally we'll check the built-up cycles as well, right? But today we are specifically discussing about the PCR data point. Okay, now if I'm talking about the PCR. So everybody aware about the concept of the OI PCR and the volume PCR, right? But in today's session, we are discussing about the modified PCR, which is the advanced analytics of the OI PCR. So let's start with the characteristics. What is the characteristics of the modified PCR or how it is different from the OI and volume? Okay. So let's for an example, I'm just for a better understanding. I'm just sharing my whiteboard here. Okay. Now. If I'm talking about the first characteristics of the OI PCR and the modified PCR, that is one common characteristic that if I'm talking about the characteristic that it is a mean reverting in nature. So PCR moves like this. Okay, let's for example, if I'm taking this as a mean, okay, you can see it creates a top here, again it's come to the mean, again it's create a bottom here, again it's come to the mean. Okay, so PCR has a mean reverting characteristic in it, okay, which is a common characteristics in OI PCR and the modified PCR, okay. If I'm talking about the second characteristics, so second is very simple. If you are aware about the OI PCR characteristics, then you can definitely know about the modified PCR as well. So OI PCR is positively proportionate with the future price. That means what? Whenever there is a rising in OI PCR, so that would be a bullish transformation or there would be a possibilities of bullish momentum in it. And if PCR falling down, then there will be a bearish transformation. So if OI PCR start rising, okay. If OI PCR start rising, that will be a bullish confirmation. Then modified PCR also start rising. And sorry, price also starts rising. If OI PCR start falling, then why will also start falling. Okay. okay, that is the second characteristic of the OI PCR. Second, if I'm talking about the modified PCR, so modified PCR is inversely proportionate with the future price. That means what? If modified PCR start rising, so future price is start falling. If modified PCR start Falling, there will be a possibility of pricing in the future price. Okay. And what is the common characteristic? Mean reverting. Okay, which is a common characteristic for OI and modified. Okay. Again, the thing is simple. First characteristic of the modified PCR and the OI PCR, which is a common characteristic of the all the PCR, which is mean reverting in nature. If I'm talking about the OI PCR, OI PCR is positively proportionate with the future price. That means what if OI PCR start rising? So that will be a bullish confirmation for the market for the future price or that particular index or stock. And if I'm talking about the modified PCR, it is the inversely proportional to the future price. If PCR falls down, so that will be a bullish confirmation for the market. Okay. Now, if I'm talking about the uh, trade setup, usually, so what I'll do, I'll just open the uh, application and I'll just share the screen. Okay. So. If I'm talking about the PCR, where we'll get the access of the modified PCR data point. So I just need to click on the analyze and I'll go with the OI PCR historically. Okay. So if I click on the OI PCR historical, so generally the screen is like this. So you can see the green line is specifically the OI PCR modified PCR and the orange line is the future price. Okay. You can see it's a mean reverting. It creates a top again. It's come to the again. It's create a bottom here again. It's come to the mean. So, and it is inversely proportionate with the future price. You can see modified PCR start falling here. The price is also going on bullish direction on upside, right? So, if I'm talking about the very recent example for the modified PCR, which is generated for the jungle fertilizer, and the signal date is somewhere around, you can see on a 23rd April 24. Okay. So usually here you will find a two triangles. One, you will find a green triangle. 
so green triangle indicates the bullishness in the market and the red triangle indicates the bearishness in the market so there is a probability if there is a green triangle on a chart on that particular table so there is a probability that we can anticipate that the stock will going in uh, like in the bullish direction in upcoming days or in future days right and same logic on the bearish triangle our red triangle there is a red triangle so that would be in bearish confirmation so they might there is a possibility that stock stock or that particular index will fall okay now you can see on a 23rd april the price is somewhere around 381 and which is shoot up by almost 420 and 427 let's for example if i am opening the chart okay let me open the chart so here you will find the multi tab option so you can easily access two or three tools or specifically the four tabs so what was the signal next signal is 23rd april so i am opening the jungle particular one and so 23rd you can see here 23rd april the price is 370 near by 374 and which is almost gone up by almost 425 in the span of 3 to 4 days and if i'm marking the price range here so in the span of 3 days i'll or basically able to capture the 12 point roughly if i'm taking a 10% movement okay which is fine right in the span of 3 3 days and we are able to capture the 10% movement then that would be a great right so that's how you can use the modified pcr tool So for the modified PCR again, we we'll just need to go with the analyze and OI PCR historical. If there you will find the option, just click on it and open the tool here, and we'll get the text of the modified OI PCR. So modified PCR again, it is used to identify the short term directional in the market. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much to watching the video.